Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys about relationships. And no, I'm not a psychologist, but I really want to talk about relationships. Whether that's in business or life, you have to put effort and energy into relationships and show commitment if you're ever going to make anything long lasting. So stay tuned and figure out why it is that I'm actually sitting in an airport and how much effort I'm putting into some business relationships that I'm working on currently. Okay, so I'm currently sitting in an airport, obviously, and I have come for a very specific reason. I currently am gonna be purchasing some property in Huntsville, Alabama, but that's not the only reason. If you wanted to say, well, Felicia's smart, she's traveling to where she's purchasing to do her due diligence and to do home inspections and to meet the termite people and to meet the property managers, I mean, sure, you could say that that's why I'm going, but I'll tell you the number one reason why I'm sitting in an airport, why I purchased a ticket, why I climbed onto an aircraft, and that was to not only establish, but really solidify the relationships that I'm working on in Alabama. So let's back up a little bit. As you continue to invest in real estate, there will be many a times that you purchase sight unseen. It's just something that you're gonna have to get over at some point to continue to grow your portfolio. I've purchased many properties sight unseen. Heck, I'm a realtor in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm constantly doing videos and things like that for buyers. So there's a lot of um, technological advances that we have that could comfort a buyer in purchasing sight unseen. So. I mean, yeah, I came to Huntsville to go ahead and do my inspections and all of that kind of thing, but in reality, I really wanted to meet my contact point who right now is getting me a bunch of off-market deals. I wanted to meet him face to face. I wanted to shake his hand. I wanted to learn a little bit about him because guess who's getting a Christmas card this year? You know, things like that. And although this sounds silly, this is so, so vital for anybody really in any kind of business. I think you could take this same kind of concept and rake it over any business model and realize the value of a relationship. So I did. I hopped my butt on a plane. I traveled out to Alabama and I shook hands and I met my contact point for all of these off-market deals. I also was able to physically chat with my property manager, the person that's going to be maintaining 20 doors for me. Of course, I was able to drive the streets and things like that, but it's all boiling down to the relationships. So that's some physical relationships that I'm now gonna have established out in Alabama. Now, if I wanna continue to purchase, I have those contact points and I'm gonna continue to nurture that relationship and I'm going to make good on anything that I do with them contractual wise and they're gonna to continue to want to do business with me. It's never, ever, ever about the one deal or the one transaction you're doing. Again, just like my real estate career, it's never about the one home that somebody purchases with me. It's about their sell and it's about their friends and their family. Relationships are just so, so vital. Not only that, but I actually partnered on quite a deals out here in Alabama. So showing the commitment yet again on a different level. So I, I met the people out in Alabama, yes, the property managers, all that stuff. But I also got on a plane to show commitment to a process to my equity partners. So I do have equity partners on three purchases out here. And I wanted to show them that I was committed on verifying all of the information that I was bringing to them. Obviously, we're reviewing numbers, the numbers look good, this thing, this, that, the other, but I don't just wanna do three deals with these equity partners. I want to do 20 deals, I want to do 100 deals. So I've got to show commitment and I've got to establish and confirm that relationship by showing them that I am okay with getting on a plane, traveling across the United States and ensuring that we're good on these homes. So to summarize, Anything in business, real estate, real estate investing, it's always going to boil down to relationships, all of it. You can do all your homework, you can be as educated as you want, you can be in the books, you can run the numbers. If you haven't established and nourished relationships and have shown commitment to somebody, you're really going to flounder a lot. So next time you're thinking about you know, purchasing out of state. Think about who it is that is assisting you and helping you. And although we kind of laughed at the fact that I may be sending a Christmas card this year to my new agent in Alabama, um, that's some serious stuff. I mean, you really need to show that you're appreciative of everything that they do. So 
I hope that that was something that you enjoyed. I know that it was a little basic. I know that I'm not a psychologist or anything like that, but relationships and business, real estate, real estate investing, et cetera, are just so, so significant. If you pay the thousands and thousands of dollars at any mastermind, I guarantee you that word is going to come up over and over and over again. So really take the time and really marinate on the relationships that you're creating how you're investing in them, how you're showing commitment to them, and maybe some areas that you could be a little bit better at. I'm sure you'll see your business blossom. So remember at the end of the day, if you have any questions, anything home related, real estate related, anything of the nature, who's your home girl? I'm your home girl.